small French village with only 90 inhabitants, we discover this mysterious but beautifully gigantic abandoned mansion belonging to a very wealthy family. It has been abandoned since 2003 and over the years Mother Nature is slowly taking over. It is unknown why it stands abandoned with everything left behind. Based on reconnaissance we suspect they had a passion for music and paintings. From the multiple bedrooms, you could infer that this was a large family. We also discovered hidden rooms and the layout was like a maze. We also found old family photos, boxes full of medication, and much more. It's time to go on a tensive journey into the unknown to find out what could be the explanation for why it is abandoned. Back to another episode, we are at France and we are about to explore a massive mansion with everything left behind it. It was once from a wealthy family. It is unknown why it left this place. It's abandoned since 2003, so you can count it's abandoned for more than a decade. And due to the long time of abandonment, Mother Nature is slowly taking over this place and it is slowly falling apart. And it's so sad because with all the antiques that is left behind, this house has so many rooms, it's like a maze. Hopefully we're gonna find some information about the past owners, I already saw pictures of them, we already checked the place out, like we always do, but yes, massive, and as I just said guys, it's gonna be a long video, so keep watching, you won't regret it, and if you're ready, smash a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and then get straight to it. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna start from the beautiful main living room, and as you can see, all the walls are in wood. It's a beautiful wood structure, it's very insane. A typical French chateau with some stuffed mirrors and so on. You see there's a lot in these places still. So check it out, all these antiques left with space for so many years. It is sad. Literally, we found some old books with piano notes about music. It was probably a musician, I don't know, maybe he loved uh, playing piano and so on because there's also one piano left behind as well. So keep watching, there are many more books. Here we got like a beautiful fireplace, actually the whole floor is in wood, but look. It's literally slowly falling apart, this is so sad. Beautiful curtains, all in yellow. Beautiful lighting. <laughs> it's quite easy. Here we got like an old picture of it. Some decoration and so on. Here we got a table. So they bought this, well, music books and not. In the big French city, Liège. Nice carpet on the ground. And here at Frederick. Oi. Check it out. More furniture over here. It's a big, a big living room. And every single bathroom has its own color. It's nice. Look at the design of the doors. It's a violin. Gorgeous. Wow. And as you see, it keep going and going though. It's crazy this place. Like chill. It's so massive. So many rooms. It's like a maze. Got the second fireplace here. We're gonna see way more throughout the exploration. It's so sad to see these stuffed animals, but like yeah, look at this. Yeah, you put the wine here or the beer, I think you can tell. Maybe it's just decoration, I don't know. Check it out. Here we've got many old pictures of the past owners. It's always so sad to see it. 
scared the fairy of me. And so sad, they left this beautiful place. Also, they lost art, books, and antiques. So I guess that's it for the living room. It's time to go explore all the rooms. Vision block, it's massive. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, we're gonna enter the second living room. Which is more crazier because there's more furniture left behind. Absolutely insane. Everything is still made up actually. There we see some boxes already. Banana boxes. <laughs> Check it out, that's gorgeous. I really like the furniture that is left, especially with all the single details. Pretty impressive, literally. And especially these curtains, man, is always fabulous inside big mansions like this. Like I said, when you're exploring these type of buildings in France, it's so different than the Belgian ones. And I prefer more the French abandoned mansions, actually. If I'm be honest, that's my opinion about this. Let me know, guys, down below in the comments, what type of places do you like the most? The Belgian untouched houses or the old French houses? Look at the doors, all in wood, crazy, lots of wood in this place. And here we go to the hall, with some old letters, and there we got the piano, check it out, in fabulous condition. Still working though. But there we got like another sort of room. Of course, the vandals already found this place as well, unfortunately. They messed the beautiful wall up with this sort of. I can't call this a graffiti, but they just messed it up. Why are people doing this stuff actually? You look at this wine bottle. It's crazy and that's a nice sort of sink it's like a mini bar actually in case you're wondering if this is real this is actually all fake it's all plastic literally it's all plastic peeps even this just scrapes plastic just for decoration but those ones are real. <laughs> Literally. There's still some wine left. Oh, it's crazy, man. Literally. <laughs> Look at these chairs. Impressive. And as I said, it's endless. You will think, ah, oh, it's we are finished, but it isn't, guys. We got the main floor, got the first floor, and we even got like a second floor and an attic. Literally. It's so massive. I don't know which room this is, but that's a hell of a huge fireplace. Look, crazy. But it's kind of dark because it's so massive. 
Here we've got a gorgeous staircase. Here we've got like a sort of small bathroom. Which is kind of nasty, unfortunately. They use this for horses. Look, let's keep going and going actually. <laughs> but first the main floor. Sort of storage room, I guess. But check it out. I've seen these ones before in, um, in other houses. Here we got like our first, I think it's a guest room, not sure. But again, another fireplace. Well, it was a fireplace, considered like this. But look at this first bed, guys. It's still made up as well. And it's kind of clean here. It's creepy. <laughs> it's a beautiful bed. But you can see way more. And we can see way more art as well. There's one like hidden room. With many arts. Legit. Welcome to the kitchen. Here we are. Loads of stuff is left here. <laughs> An oven there, the microwave. Well, it's not a microwave. It looks like that. <laughs> We've got this very rare bench. But look at all the stuff here. <laughs> Wow. I guess they had lots of work to prepare the food, which, well, for such a big family to, to feed. <laughs> they even did a laundry here in the kitchen. <laughs> wow. And there we got like the oldest sink I have ever seen. It's massive. An old water pump. Look how big it is. And a very old school sink. Crazy. The TK is so sad. That's like a pocket camera or something. And we got like sort of pepper spray. That someone even left to see behind. <laughs> That's actually illegal. Well, normally it's illegal, but yeah, those are the laws. We can't have any weapons with this in the public eyes. They see some secret art in the closet <laughs> with some vests. Well, jackets. So this was the kitchen, guys. Even on this door it says private. Which is so strange. Maybe this was a hotel once. I don't know. Wish I know information, but I don't know. Unfortunately. Alrighty, guys. Time to go upstairs. The creepy, dangerous staircase. This lady is kind of falling apart. But you're going to do it anyways. Otherwise, you're going to miss all the beautiful bathrooms. Here we are. Oh, dude. That's a flash. Ooh, there's a spider. Ooh, leave me alone, spider. It smells moldy here, the chip. Right, we're gonna start from the left. And then that's for later. This is right now the first floor. Here it's just trash.
But we're gonna start from here, guys, so we can see everything. We have to do the house in pieces. But honestly, we're gonna be plat and back outside because the smell is so bad here. And this is our first untouched bathroom. Literally, all the baths are still made up. That's crazy, though. But the curtains are always so magical. I like it. That's a beautiful sink. Alright. Look at this bathroom. Isn't it beautiful? Literally, every single bat is made up, guys. Legit. Wow. I really like the ceiling. Well, the decay. The paint is dripping off the ceiling. That's so gorgeous. You can see it's been for many years already. And every single bathroom had like their own fireplace. Otherwise, this will be expensive to heat at the place if you have to use these heaters the whole time. Look, some more art. They've even got like a bench. <laughs> but check the wallpaper. Special. Creepy face. So this is the view, peeps. All right, time for another one. Well, after this door, it's only trash. We check it out already. Nothing special. I'm gonna show you only the best spots of this place. So I'm not gonna waste any more battery of the trashed rooms. Because the only thing you're gonna see is mess and boxes, that's it. Alright. It's like another room here. Also made up. It's crazy. That's a cool mask. As long as not Michael Mayer's this mask is kind of okay for me. <laughs> and as I already said, just keep going and going though. Here's so many stuff left. We cannot see the floor anymore. It's all in boxes and shit. And why? Good question. I don't know. This is the bath, well, not the bathroom, but the bathroom. It's a nice bathtub. It's a golden crane. Man, look at all these books. It's like this nun is kind of afraid of something. Many more old photographs. Always so sad to see it. I never understand why people can leave this all behind. Look. From 2000s, 96 old documents. It's crazy. And here we got like our next beautiful untouched bathroom, guys. We're gonna stand here so we can see the whole room first before we get into some details. And as you see, again, the bath is made up. 
and the real light is channeling you. Well, what's this? Like a sort of pillow with a filled with sun. I don't know. <laughs> Look, they even have like a desk. Crazy. Woman shoes there. Beautiful closet. That's a giant mirror. I never will sleep with a mirror in my freaky bathroom. Legit. It's a portal to the paranormal world, guys. Legit. And here we are stuck. <laughs> Alrighty, so this was the first floor. Now it's time for the second one. And I can tell you, there will be even more crazy stuff on the second floor than at the first floor, especially in the hidden room. And lots of art and creepy. It's obviously so creepy. The second floor and the attic. Legit. But first, time for funerals. Alrighty everyone, it's time to go to the second floor. Staircase is kind of weird. Normally it's good because I've been here already. Well, I use the staircase already, I couldn't see it like this. <laughs> oh, Lord. Old staircase is making all like that crazy, creepy noise. Here we are. I don't know what the hell this is. Paint. Violet. Something. Maybe it was an artist as well. And again, here you have the juice to the right or the left. And I'm gonna suggest right now, we're gonna use this area first. And here in this box, we see lots of medication. So maybe they went sick. This whole box is full of medication, pills and so on. Must something happen here with them? Maybe, yeah. They tied here. Who knows? Check it out. All this furniture. It's very strange. It's creepy here. Check it out. Lots of books and so on. Check it out, guys. That's creepy. Only thing you see is whole furniture. It's crazy, man. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Check it out. That's literally a dark place and that's a big white scale. They look up like an old kid's bike there. <sighs> but I've never seen something big like this, legit. Hello? That's the 
stadigvæk. Der står clean the shoes. Mo shit. Der er sådan en joint boat. Boy! Det er fyldt af mange bokser. Check det ud. En anden rum fyldt af bokser. Man. Det er crazy. Look at the floor. It's very digging. Whoa. That's like, I know, medication stuff or something. For samples. Blood samples. All the jars. Crazy. They probably love to go to ski. There are lots of ski stuff here. I still have the feeling this will last, but it isn't. It's just like this. Here is a secret room, guys. It's big. It's like the artist's room. Maybe this was his man cave. This is Mona Lisa. Books from the 70s and so on. An old sink. Old furniture, some more music books there. And paintings, lots of paintings. This here, <laughs> especially there. We got another one here of a lady. We got some way more there, some more books there. Oh my God. Check it out. There's an old typewriter machine. Oh. Look. If he made this all by itself, he must be very talented as well. Literally. Some old window plates. Robert Le Diable or something. We even can go to there but I think it's kinda unsafe. But they cover the windows with paintings and so on. Alright. I think we've seen everything peeps. Literally. So another shit thing I wanna say. This is the end of this episode. I really hope from the bottom of my heart you enjoy this place. We did it guys, we finished. We destroyed this beautiful gem here in France. In a very charming small town. And yeah, I'm actually glad I could explore a beautiful place like this again. It's literally a time capsule. We see music books. Probably he was a musician, maybe he had a passion for music. We saw a piano, we saw gorgeous furniture, we saw gorgeous seats and so on, old portraits, many arts, this place got it all. And so many rooms, absolutely crazy. And it is just heartbreaking to see this place left its fate, slowly falling apart, 
and maybe in two years this will com- this place will be completely gone. I'm glad I could share you the cheat this place before that will happen. And yeah, it's your boy Jeffrey. Thank you so much for watching. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Make sure to follow me on social media. It's in the description box below. And also let me know down below what was your most favorite part of this place. So yeah, this is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you in a little bit. Peace.